All right, what we're looking at here is a subsoiler and a wet dog. <laughs> but this subsoiler came from Tractor Supply. The brand is County Line. Uh, they had it on sale for 225 bucks. I've read nothing but good things about uh, people using subsoilers on their clay soil to help make it so it drains, break up the hard pan. So even though I have no experience in this, I figured I'd make a video and I'd give an honest review on uh, if my little 35 horse tractor can pull this through the soil and whether it gets folded up like a pretzel, whether this, this thing holds up good. So uh, we'll try her out in the soil and then we'll try her out next to some trees and see if we can break some roots off. All right, I'll get her hooked to the tractor and we'll go from there. All right, I got a couple passes in this field here. Right now it's letting me go about 16 to 18 inches deep. And if I try going deeper than that, I'm losing traction and the tractor's not able to pull it through. But uh, this is some pretty heavy duty clay soil. This is some of the better, some of the better stuff because I've had clover growing on it for, for a couple years here, but uh, so right now about 16 to 18 inches it's letting me go through. Well, it survived its shift of work. <laughs> the old subsoiler. Nothing busted, twisted, bent, or broke during me using it this weekend. Um, I was able to bury it into the ground probably up to about here consistently and pull it through with the little Coyote CK3510. Um, if I tried going any deeper, it would... Uh, the tractor would lose traction, especially if the ground was, I got heavy clay soil. If the ground was a little more moist, it would uh, lose the traction. And in some of the drier sections, it would want to try and stall the tractor out. But that only happened a handful of times, so I would consider it a victory. It worked. I'm not 100% sure I used it right. I put a... I dropped it in, went about every five feet, and uh, drug her through, dropped her down like as far as I could, you know, 
with it still pulling it and after that I went through and I tilled the field I wasn't certain as I'd never used one before whether you were supposed to till the field before or after but I chose before no I said that wrong <laughs> I subsoil first and then I tilled afterwards um, and I think it turned out pretty good so time will tell if the water drains a little better off of here but I also wanted to show you something here we've had clover in this field here and it was about the end of its life cycle had it in this field about three years and I want to show you the consistency of the soil here now you know granted we planted it and then you know we no-tilled for the the years obviously that it was here I would just control the weeds by mowing and I mean that that looks pretty good not perfect but if I show you this this field we broke ground on last year and I'll show you the consistency of this soil as we walk over here <laughs> this is ugly this is ugly ain't gonna be no seeds getting in that it's hard like a rock but uh, it is what it is uh, this year we're going to uh, we got to finish level in this section anyhow so I'll be back dragging a bunch up to that hill but I think we'll probably start with buckwheat in this you know and then uh, this fall I'll go with clover just because the clover did such a great job on that field and there's other fields with uh, the overgrown grass in that would uh, get standing water in after a rain and the field with the clover in there was never standing water in it within reason obviously but well all right I just wanted to give a quick uh, review of this county line uh, subsoiler and it passed the test I mean I did everything I, I could I dr oh I drug it against some willow roots and ripped them out I didn't go against anything crazy big but uh, it ripped out uh, probably one inch inch and a half roots no problem busted them right off but that's probably more the tractor than this although this thing had to do it without busting in half I guess so so far I'm happy with her time will tell if anything weird happens with it I'll I'll do a video and a little update on it all right well that's it for this have a good one we got a new addition to the family here she's a little four-year-old lab golden retriever mix <laughs> she's a little warm right now she's got plenty of water so don't believe her that uh She's dying of thirst. She's got plenty of water. <laughs> hey, Corus, come here. Because Corus needed a buddy. Now he's got a buddy. Corus ain't interested in me right now, though. All right. Thanks for watching.